Climate change is a concern across the world, and combating it demands drastic reductions in emissions. But for many rapidly growing Asian countries, where fossil fuel consumption continues to climb, that's easier said than done. Nuclear power is an attractive alternative because it's emission-free. But managing used nuclear fuel remains a major challenge. For safekeeping, used fuel must be stored for thousands of years. And Asian countries that already use nuclear power, like Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, are running out of space to store used fuel. So how can Asia make room for a sustainable future? A recent study published in the journal Asia and the Pacific Policy Studies suggests that recycling spent fuel into clean energy and heat may be the answer. And there's a perfect spot to do it, South Australia. Australia is especially appealing because of its stable geology, finances, institutions, and politics. It has ranked first in the world in nuclear security for the past three years. And the fact that all the waste would be in a single location under international oversight makes Australia an even more secure option. The study's new approach combines an above-ground, standalone facility, which can securely store used nuclear fuel for over a hundred years, with modern, fast reactors. Extremely long-term storage is no longer needed because almost all of the waste will be recycled using a technique called pyroprocessing. This produces excellent fuel for fast reactors and a waste product with a half-life of just 30 years. The viability of pyroprocessing was first established many years ago, and the technology has now advanced to the point of commercialization. The fast reactors would provide both reliable, clean energy and a pathway for destroying the long-lived material from used nuclear fuel. This plan would not only improve the environment and keep the world safer, but would also generate an estimated thirty-one billion dollars for the Australian economy over thirty years. By reinventing how used nuclear fuel is managed, they say Australia can make it much easier for countries across Asia to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. While still growing their economies.